We are back with Today Food, cooking up a fantastic pasta dish with assistant managing editor of the New York Times and founder of New York Times Cooking, Sam Sifton. And he's gearing up for the New York Times Food Festival. It's coming back October the 8th. I'm so excited. Uh, Sam's going to be moderating a special panel with the cast and crew of the FX hit show, The Bear. Uh, so we decided to make a spin on a family-style meal from the show with Sam's Amatriana, Amatriana on, on the, the fly, fly, on the fly, which okay. is from the show. But what I love about your column, you talk about this concept, and this is what we're going to do. It's a no-recipe recipe. That's right. What do you mean? What I mean by that is you don't have to follow the rules all the time. Uh -huh. You just have to kind of start with a prompt mm. and get going. Okay. And, and, and I provide the prompt. And then you make it however you like it. But you add lib. You add lib. Okay, so what so are we starting with? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Especially is, if it's bacon. This is bear adjacent. Okay. This is not bear cooking. <laughs> okay. I'm not carmy. Right. This is bear adjacent. So we've got some slab bacon here uh -huh. that I yep. chopped up for that little tease. And we're going to get it into a pan with some olive oil. And we're just going to let that get going and render some fat. About how much bacon? I like a lot of bacon. I do, too. Is that enough bacon? <laughs> yes, a lot of bacon for is it? good. So yeah. a lot of bacon mm -hmm. going. And we're just going to let that render, render, render. Okay. Mm. And if when you don't use bacon, bacon. Mm. Well, traditionally, it was made with guanciale, the oh. hog jowl bacon. Right. But I've done it with salami. I've done it with pepperoni. Okay. Any cured meat, right? So we got that going. Next, we're going to get some onions. Okay. That's going to help us with our sauce. What's your tip for cutting onions? I go across. Uh-huh. And then down the middle. Okay. Right? And always leave that guy right there, that okay. root end. Right? Yes. That'll leave hold, him there? That'll hold everything together oh. as you're cutting. Pro tip. Got it? Pro tip. Pro, Pro tip. tip. All right. So into that rendered bacon. Uh, oh, my goodness. Secret ingredient. Fat is flavor, my friend. Yes, oh, my God. Is. So we got that going. And we'll get mm -hmm. that down pretty low. Uh -huh. Let it go until it's pretty caramel. Mm. Okay. Right? Now we're going to build the sauce out. Mm. We've got some canned chopped tomatoes, All right. which are going to go in there. If, if, you're, you, you, if you've had some, like, a, a good harvest of garden tomatoes, could you use fresh? You definitely could do that, but I like those garden tomatoes raw, mm. you know? Yeah. You know, like a bruschetta or yeah. something, uh, okay. a salad, a tomato watermelon salad. That's always delicious. Mm. So this guy goes and goes and goes and goes and builds up flavor. Mm -hmm. We've oh, made some good. pasta. Okay. okay. I've added some butter to that pasta. Okay. Why? Why? Yeah. Because flavor. flavor. I'm like, exactly. that's why this is so good. Right. You, you didn't you pay the, attention. You know, yeah. you really want to get some nice plushness. It's really like five ingredients, too. It's nothing. But it tastes so, it's so layered. And, and do you, can you, is there any pasta you could use? Or? Yeah, you could use a bucatini if you can find any, uh -huh. or a spaghetti, or, you know, you could do this with shells and have a pretty good time. Mm -hmm. So we get that going around. Right. Okay. And then what we're going to do when we're done mm -hmm. and we're happy with it is hit it with some pecorino romano. Oh, pecorino okay. romano. More flavor. Mm -hmm. More Let's flavor. Try this. Some red pepper flakes. Oh. Okay. And some chopped parsley because. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Did you add the pasta water to that as well? I'll add a little bit of pasta water okay. in there just to loosen things up if it gets tight. It's delicious. Okay. Hey, hey, Sam, talk, talk to us about uh, the festival coming up. Uh, oh, yeah. We're really excited. Um, we started the festival a couple of years ago. We missed a year or two mm -hmm. because of the pandemic, and now we're back in Damrush Park in Lincoln Center. We're going to have a okay, ton so of great chefs coming in. Mm -hmm. We sold out tickets in the first tranche, but wow. we're putting a new set on on September 22nd for sale. And then for those who can't make it to New York, we're going out on the road with some okay. of our, with oh, Melissa wow. Clark and oh. others, some of our One best of our chefs. Faves. And we're going to cook with some of America's greatest chefs on the road. And you That's can cook awesome. at home with cooking kits from the New York Times store. That's awesome. Right. Al always good. raves good. about recipes. Not the biggest customer. It's, it's, it's the thing that I, I go to all the time, right after uh, Today Food. I <laughs> <laughs> Enough. The New York Times cooking, we're giving you a run. This is you go. fantastic. Sam Sifton, just it. always love when you're here. Thanks so, so much. Good. Uh, chickens for the New York Times Food Festival available, as Sam mentioned, on September 22nd. Third hour today will be right I back. I keep this whole mm. thing. Good. Good. Right. Good.